welcome to uh, House Education. Thank you for having me. I have my eighth grade daughter with me today. Um, could she join me? Absolutely. For the full experience. <laughs> <laughs> this is school today. Thank you to the committee for allowing me to speak today. My name is Vicki Hopkins. I was raised in southern New Hampshire, and I've lived in Concord for the past nine years. I'm a mother of two wonderful middle school children, and I am a pediatric occupational therapist working in public schools, and I am a Moms Demand Action volunteer. I am proud to say that my daughter has asked to come with me today, and I have her written testimony to share with my own of her concerns about growing up with the threat of gun violence in the school. I am here to support HB 564 because I believe that no child, no parent, and no school employee should feel unsafe at school. I was shocked to learn that New Hampshire is one of only eight states that has no restriction that prohibits handgun carry licenses from carrying guns in, on school property. I strongly believe that guns have no place in our schools. I believe that public schools should be a safe haven for our children, a place to learn and grow, where we all feel safe as we raise up and educate the next generation. We must do everything we can to reduce the possibility of any gunfire in our schools. As it is, an estimated 3 million American children witness gun violence every year. And we know that gun violence is the second leading cause of death for American children. As an occupational therapist, I work with students with emotional, physical, and learning disabilities. I work with all students, promoting positive mental and physical health every day. Just last week, I was in a meeting with a family and teachers, and I watched as the mother's eyes filled with tears as she genuinely asked us, how will we support her child's medical needs in a lockdown situation? How do we get the nursing care to students in need if they're locked down and we can't leave the classroom? I've been part of lockdown drills huddled in a corner with scared students, watching their anxiety rise. I have sat in meetings with colleagues as we problem solve how to keep students and staff safe should we have an active shooter threaten our school. I work with coworkers to rearrange our classroom furniture, considering what is the heaviest that can block the doorway, and have had conversations about purchasing new furniture based on the ease of mobility instead of how it will contribute to our students' learning so we can be efficient in case a shooter is in our school. Our kids, our students, they are scared. We, the adults, need to be the calm voice reassuring them. When a person with a gun enters our school, we go into a lockdown procedure. When we have to go into a lockdown simply because the school cannot prevent individuals from carrying on our school grounds, this takes time and energy away from teaching and learning and instead feeds into our very real fears and growing anxiety. By passing HB 564, we have an opportunity to clarify the New Hampshire law and prohibit the possession of firearms in safe school zones. We have students who have trauma in their lives. Students who escape violent situations, both physical and emotional, when they come to the safety of school each day. Public school should be their safe haven. They should be gun free. I urge you to support HB 564 and help keep guns out of K-12 schools. Thank you for listening to my testimony. For the sake of time, I'll forego questions at this time. Thank you. May I, uh, Ms. Hopkins, may I ask your daughter a question? I think so, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Michael. We, we, we have, uh, for the last uh, four and a half hours, have been talking about schools and the concern about the impact on students. The question I have for you is what are the, con what are the conversations you're having with your peers <coughs> about safety in schools, et cetera? If you could just let us know what, what, what your story is. Uh. I know a lot of kids who are really scared all the time about gun safety here and other places. And lockdowns are really scary. And most of the time we don't know if it's a practice or not. And a lot of my friends are really happy for me <laughs> that I was coming to this today. Um, and they just want to go to school and learn and not have to worry about if they are going to get shot that day. So. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Any other questions? Thank you very much.